Today, we're gonna to be predicting the 2022 World Cup. It is almost here, it is November. The tournament's about to kick off and we're gonna go group by group, match by match, and pick who we think is gonna come out victorious. Starting with group A to top group A, I'm gonna have to go with Senegal, the AFCON champions from last year, Mane. Man in form, second second in the group. Obviously, it's going to be Netherlands, in my opinion. And then I'm going to go with the host nation, Qatar. I, I don't think they will finish bottom of the group. And I think that will be Ecuador finishing bottom of the group. That's how it lines up in Group A. Group B is very, very important. The USA, my boys, the US men's national team, will they top the group? No. The simple answer is no. England will top the group. USA will finish second. Wales third and Iran may not even go to the tournament, but I do think they will finish last in this group. It is going to be a tough, tough task for the USA to get out of this group, to get second with Wales in their World Cup. Gareth Bale is a man that no one wants to play, but I think Greg Berhalter's men can get it done. Get it done when, they, when it's crunch time. We could even be England. This really could be USA one, England two. But you know, I, I don't, I don't want to, don't want to put my biases, don't want to put my bias up there. You know, moving on to Group C, we got some big hitters here. Obviously, one of the favorites, Argentina. I'm gonna go with Argentina to top the group. It would be silly to not. The next, Mexico and Poland. I'm gonna have to go with Poland. Mexico have had a really tough time qualifying, and that's gonna put them third and out of the tournament in the group stage. Mexico. I think won't be able to hold their own against Poland, will struggle against Saudi Arabia. They could even drop points against Saudi Arabia, but will really, really struggle against Argentina and those heavy hitters they got. And then Group D, Group D has one good team. No disrespect to Denmark, but France, I think France, could, I, I want to say France could not top this group. I think Denmark could give France a run for their money, but I don't think Australia or the or Tunisia are gonna struggle France at all. So in that case, on goal difference probably, France are gonna be top the group, then followed by Christian Eriksen's Denmark, then Australia to give them some passion, and Tunisia. It is a pretty straightforward group stage so far, but things will get different and things will get a bit more spicy. Next up, Espanol, España, Japan, and Germany. I think Japan could do some damage here. I think Japan are gonna finish second in this group, but for first, it's it's tough. It is very, very tough. One of these teams will not qualify, Spain and Germany. One will not qualify for the knockout round, and I think it is going, I think it is gonna be Germany. I, I think Germany are gonna struggle in this World Cup. I'm gonna go Spain, Japan with the passion. They've got a lot of lot of good players. They've got Kubo, they've got Tamiyasu. They've got a lot of young talent. I think they're gonna do really well this tournament. Germany third and then Costa Rica coming in. In fourth place, the CONCACAF representation. I just think they don't have the firepower. They don't have the players. They don't have the depth that uh, these three nations have. It is a very tough group for Costa Rica. Some would say impossible for them to qualify. And then next up, Group F. This is another tough one. I think this is Belgium's tournament to lose. This is the last tournament for Belgium to show that they can actually do something. This whole golden generation of Belgian, Belgian players is frauding. They, they haven't won anything. They haven't won anything. I'm going to go Croatia first, Canada second, Belgium third, and Morocco. Rounding off the group. Belgium will not qualify. This is a controversial, controversial prediction. I don't think Belgium will do it. I think Canada is a very underrated team. Their ranking does not dictate how good they are on the pitch. Moving on to Group G. Big boys, Brazil, favorites. Cameroon as well. Switzerland, I, I think it is a no-brainer. Brazil to top the group. And then it is a tough one. Serbia or Switzerland or Cameroon? I, I'm going to go with... I'm gonna go with Serbia. Serbia always seem to get it done in, in these tournaments. Switzerland barely qualified based on a Jorginho missed penalty. So they're, they're lucky to be here. And, and then finally, we have Portugal, Ghana, Uruguay, and South Korea. I'm gonna go 
with Uruguay to top the group. They have struggled in the recent years in both the Copa America and in qualifying, but I don't think Portugal are going to have the firepower that they want. So Portugal will be coming out of this group second and then third to round off. Not not doesn't matter too much, but I, I think South Korea will will finish third as they showed last World Cup. They can they can, they can upset some people. They, they, they beat Germany. They beat Germany. And moving on to the round of 16, boys, as you see here, we've got 16 beautiful nations. And starting off with my, my USA, my boys, in the round of 16 against Senegal. Senegal, tough, tough opponents. I got to back the boys. I'm backing the boys. USA with the upset over Senegal. And yes, that is an upset. That is definitely an upset in the world of football nowadays. Argentina, Denmark. I'm going to go Argentina. I'm going to go Argentina. This is going to be a, a probably one of the easier round of 16 matches games to decide. England versus England versus Denmark. I mean, England versus Netherlands. Both teams I'm not confident with. I don't like the way either team is going into this tournament. Denmark, Netherlands, not Denmark, were in the tournament last, last time round. England have struggled in form. The squad selection is all over the place. Gareth Southgate doesn't know what he's doing. I'm gonna go upset. I'm gonna go upset. I don't think England get it done. I don't think England get it done. And then Fra France, Poland, that could be rough, but Lewandowski has had no support. And I think France will end up making it to the quarterfinals of this magnificent tournament, Spain and Canada. It's gotta be Spain. Canada have had a good run, but I don't think it, it will continue very, very long into this knockout stage. Brazil and Portugal. Could Ronaldo do, do the... Do the impossible, beat Brazil, knock out one of the favorites of this tournament by himself. No, he can't. He cannot. Portugal have struggled a lot. They have Cancelo, they have Renato Sanchez, they have Ruben Diaz, they have good players, but they don't play as a team. They don't play as a, a collective unit. And Brazil, even though they have a lot of egos, they do that. They play as a unit and they are a passionate, passionate bunch. Japan and Uruguay. I'm going to go with Japan here. I think Japan could get it done. I think Japan could beat Croatia. Japan, Croatia. I think they could get it done. What do you... I, I don't know. Could they get it done? Japan and Croatia. I'm going to go with Japan. My, my gut says Japan, and then I'm going to go with Uruguay. It is a, a, a unconventional quarterfinals with the USA versus Argentina. 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 Messi versus... The American Messi, Christian Pulisic, or do I mean Brandon Aronson? I don't know. You tell me. Argentina, I, I can't, I can't, I can't. I, I will get, I will get flamed if I. The USA are not, they're not going to be Argentina. Spain, Brazil. I'm going to go Spain. I think Spain can make a run in this tournament. I really, really do. Netherlands, France. As much as I said I don't like the way the Netherlands are playing I don't know about France I don't know how well they're gonna do in that in that second World Cup it's that World Cup that fatigue the fatigue after winning a World Cup which is the mental block but I think they can get it done and then we go Japan Japan are making the semifinals of the World Cup and the semifinals Spain Argentina I'm gonna go with Argentina and then France and we have a final of Argentina versus France in a clash of legends one of the best games from the 2018 world cup was between these two teams and i expect nothing different if this final does come to fruition argentina france mbappe messi teammates but are they really teammates we don't know big hitters big big hitters and i'm gonna have to go with argentina messi will win his world cup and argentina are your 2022 world cup champions if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace